so many times you get into a society, and especially when it's in a competitive nature. And listen, no one's perfect. I, I've certain I've certainly done it. I, you know, I think I think we grow by our mistakes. We learn from our mistakes, and God uses our mistakes to make us stronger and make us better. You know, I think of the filthy language. Okay, and I listen. If you've ever come to a slow pitch softball game, we hear it. We hear stuff thrown all over the place, and it's like, what? What is that? You know, if you're one of these people that can't go to a ballpark without, you know, grounding out and throwing cuss words everywhere, is that what you want to be remembered? You want to pass someday and say, yeah, I remember playing with that guy, man. He, you couldn't even get out of the, on the field without him sounding like a sailor. What kind of legacy is that? What kind of legacy is that for your children? I think I've think I got three children at home, and I think a lots of times I think, you know, do I want my son, Jacob, to be like me? And I got to tell you, lots of times I answer no. And that should hurt us as fathers to say, you know, no, I, to think, no, I don't want my son to be like me. That should jar our memories and jar us to our foundations to say, yes, I want to be the kind of man that my son looks at me and says, I want to be just like my father. Not because I can hit home runs. Not because I can talk in front of a camera. But because I love Jesus with all my heart. Because I'm full of compassion. Because I'm full of, I mean, like once again in verse 12, because I'm, I'm, I've clothed myself with compassion and kindness and humility and gentleness and patience. That's why I wanted to be like me. I want my daughter to say, you know what? That's the kind of man I'm going to marry. When she goes to date and when she's, someone's dating her and comes to her and they're a little bit serious, I want her to say, you know what, I'm not going to marry you cause you, or I'm not going to date you because you're nothing like my father at 50 when she's going to be allowed to date. But it's about leaving a legacy, y'all. And it's, it's tough. I'll be honest with you. It, it, but it can be done through Christ Jesus. We can get rid of that sexual immorality. We can get rid of that slanderous talk. We can get rid of that filthy language, that envy, the anger. And we can be gentle people. We can be caring people. You know, in this time where we've lost so many people that are so near and dear to our hearts, you know, it's time, to be, it's time for kindness and love and compassion for these people that, you know, you got ball players and friends get hit in the face or, or get hurt. It's not time to say, well, you know, he did this or he did that, right? Remember when that guy? It's time to rally together and show a little heart, show a little compassion. And, you know, if, if you're one of these people that's not that way, it, it can happen through Christ Jesus. I promise you, he comes into your life and he changes you. He gives you, he gives you his heart. And I promise you, Jesus' heart is not full of anger. It's not, it's not full of malice. It's not full of sexual immorality. It's full of compassion. It's full of love. And that's who I want to be. And I hope that's who you want to be. Because I'll tell you one thing right now. I think it's a sad event when someone passes from this earth. And no one's there to celebrate their life. Because the legacy that they left was a person of, he's mean. He's, he's an alcoholic. He beat you. He fought. He cussed. Not judging anybody. I've been there. But God can change you. God can make you a new creation. And he can change your heart. He can change your attitude. He can change your mind, your eyes, your spirit. And that's just what I pray for you this morning. Is that as we look back on a man like Woody Bell. And a man that touched so many people. And was such a huge, huge impact on a game we all love. What a legacy he left. Let us leave legacies. Okay. Let us, let's start with ourselves and let's let it branch out to our families. Let our wives say a year from now, you know, I am so in love with my husband. He is such a changed man. He is such a nice guy, so full of compassion and love. God did it in his life. Let our kids look at us as heroes, not zeros. Okay, believe it or not, you might think your kid sits up in a stand and think you're cool because you're cussing and hollering and doing He don't. He don't. I can tell you firsthand. Okay? We love you. I'm going to pray. Okay? And what I want you to do is this, man. I, so many of you send me emails, jason at softballkingdom.com. I want you to keep coming. Keep the emails coming. I, anything. I want, 
if it's just a prayer request, I love getting those. If you want to talk, I love get I love to talk to you. I've given my phone number out before. I'll give it out again. It's 850-902-2034. That's my cell phone number. 850-902-2034. I almost forgot my cell phone number for a minute. Call me, man. I don't care. We'll talk. But we're going to pray. And and I'm just going to pray that that uh God just begins, the, the Holy Spirit begins to open up your eyes about some things in your life. You know, I saw, I'm not going to say any names, but I was out doing the center field camera yesterday during a game, and, I pro, you know, I didn't do a very good job, I have to be honest with you. I apologize to you all for that. But just before the game, I saw a Columbus Pipe player, and I'm not going to tell you names, but he comes out to the outfield fence. So that'll, that'll narrow it down to at least three. And he just said a little prayer, and I watched him. And he looked up to heaven, and he just kind of, gave whether it's God or whether it's a loved one or whatever just gave him this and you know from that I watched him the whole game and whether he grounded out hit a home run made a great play it was just nothing but joy and that's the way we should be we should be full of joy all right so let's pray all right dear father we thank you so much for this day and lord I just lift up everybody that's watching I lift up our families back home and, Lord God, I just pray right now that through the power of the Holy Spirit that people that, that have areas in their life that they might need, to be, not, might need to change, I pray right now that you just begin to reveal those things to them. Lord God, I pray for marriages right now, that if there be marriages out there that are on the rocks, that uh, maybe there's some struggles going on between the husband and wife, I pray right now that a, 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 an understanding between the two will, 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 will will come over them, Lord God, that a love will be created between the two of them like never before, and that you will heal that marriage and that relationship. Lord God, we thank you so much for, I thank you personally that I was blessed this weekend, Lord God, to not only come and, and speak this morning, but to talk to a lot, a lot of the players about a man like, like Woody Bell. I thank you for his life, Father God, and for and, and just be, just allowing him to bless so many people. Lord God, I just pray right now that you just continue to work in all of our lives and let people understand that you are the way. That you love them no matter what they've done. They can come home or they can come to you and you will love them and, open, and welcome them with open arms. Bless our families back home. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, guys. Once again, we appreciate you joining us here on Softball Kingdom this morning. And um, next weekend, we're going to be here. And we're going to have a very special guest giving the chapel service next weekend. So you're not going to want to miss that. We appreciate you this morning. And uh, we love you. I, I'm going to tell you right now, I, I love you guys out there. And, and it's kind of the weird thing about being uh, standing here in front of the camera because all I see is Mr. Kirby back there. But, you know, who knows who's watching. And if you need anything from me, anything from me, all you've got to do is email or call. Okay? I love you. All right? God bless you. We'll see you on the field.